Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Ryan. And here at eTrailer, we test fit, install, and review a lot of different parts to help answer a lot of your questions. And today on our 2020 NV1500, we're gonna be doing just that. We're gonna take a look at and show you how to install the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. Now, one of the big questions we get asked all the time is if you can use a brake controller with your NV1500. And you can, you just will need to get a couple of different things. One being a trailer wiring kit, an ETBC7 kit, and finally a brake controller. A couple of brake controllers I really like are the Takancha P2 and P3. They give us a lot of adjustability and are very easy to use. Many of our NV1500 customers primarily use their vehicles for a lot of different work purposes. So whether you plan on towing a trailer or maybe even using a cargo carrier to keep some of your materials outside of your Nissan, this hitch is gonna handle just about anything you wanna throw at it. So this is a class three hitch. So it's gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. That is a very common size and a ton of different types of accessories will work with the hitch. It's gonna have a reinforced collar for extra strength and it's gonna have that standard 5 8 pinhole. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included, but if you need one, you can grab it here at eTrailer. We're gonna have plate style safety chain openings, which don't give us a ton of room, but they should be big enough to allow us to use just about any size hook that we might have, whether it be very large or somewhere in between. Now this hitch is gonna have some really good weight capacities. As far as the maximum gross tongue weight rating goes, it's gonna be 750 pounds. And that's gonna be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. It's a pretty high number, so you should be able to use just about any size cargo carrier or bike rack, for example. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's gonna be 7,500 pounds. And that's gonna be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that is the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Now this hitch can be used with a weight distribution system which is a separate component. And what that's gonna do is kind of help level everything out so you're not sagging or squatting back here whenever you're pulling your trailer. And when you're using that, the maximum gross tongue weight rating will increase to 1,000 pounds and the maximum gross trailer weight rating will increase to 10,000 pounds. Now, I do suggest, never a bad idea, just to grab your Nissan's owner's manual and check in there to make sure that your NV1500 can pull that much weight safely. And if you do plan on doing some towing, I would suggest picking up some trailer wiring. That way the lights on your trailer will sync up with the lights on the back of your Nissan and you'll be safe and legal. And one thing I do want to mention, if you do happen to plan on using a bike rack, we do have ones that actually swing away from the vehicle. That way you can easily open up your doors and still get inside the back of your NV1500. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of measurements and you're gonna use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be about 17 and a half inches. So if you do plan on doing some towing, chances are pretty good. You're gonna to need to get a ball mount with a straight shank. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of a rear bumper, that's going to be about three inches. And you can use that measurement to help figure out that if any folding accessories you might have, can be stored in that upright position without contacting the bumper. So at the end of the day, a nice heavy duty hitch that's gonna help you get the job done, whether it's for work or play. Now, as far as the installation goes, there's really not much to it. More or less, the hitch just goes up into place and you use a few bolts to secure it. Really not a whole lot to it. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our install, we're gonna be underneath the back of our Nissan. And first thing we're gonna need to do is identify and clean out our attachment points that's going to hold our hitch up. So on each side of the frame rail, we're gonna have a total of four attachment points. And from this point on, anything we do to this side of our vehicle, we're also gonna do on the other side because it's set up the same way. With that being said, we'll have two attachment points there and two here. And these are just threaded weld nuts. So I do suggest taking a two brush, maybe some penetrating oil, and working it through those attachment points just to clean out any potential dirt or debris that may be inside. Now the hardware that's gonna hold our hitch up is very simple. It's just a bolt with the conical tooth washer 
and you want to make sure that the teeth on the washer are going to face up towards the hitch. So once we have our hitch up here, these are simply just going to thread right into those weld nuts. So now with an extra set of hands, we can take our hitch and raise it into position. I want to line it up with those attachment points. And then we just want to get at least one bolt started hand tight in each side. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. Now that we have all of our hardware in place and hand tight, we can grab a 19 millimeter socket and snug it all down. At this point, we can come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all the hardware to the amount specified in our instructions. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on our 2020 Nissan NV1500.